Welcome home, buddy. Oh my God. I fell in love with Frankie right away. Oh, sorry. <laughs> the only problem was he didn't love me. He's scared of me. He will love me. I already love him. Frankie's previous owner didn't want him anymore and surrendered him to a livestock auction. Luckily, we rescued him right before he went up for sale. It's my Frankie boy. I knew I was going to have to put in the work to gain that trust. So I really just started slow, inching my way a bit closer and closer to him every single day, really just letting him know that I'm not a threat. But the biggest thing was just being patient with him. Hey, Frankie. Hi, bud. I just let him know that I was there and that I wanted to be his friend. My biggest thing was for him to feel comfortable and safe around me. I just wanted him to eat out of my hand. I knew that if I could get him to eat out of my hand, it was going to be such a celebration and a huge step forward for both of us. I would spend so much time with him. It was just fun to chill with him and watch him and observe him while he would watch and observe me. Watching you and watch him walk away, baby. Watch him walk away. <laughs> oh, he's watching. <laughs> he's watching. Right before bed. You like snack time? I love snack time. Oh, I can't wait for us to be best friends. Come snuggle. <laughs> yeah, you get over here. Frank, you want to play catch? You want to play catch? I could tell he was curious. And that's when I learned I need to give him his space. Basically, I had to play hard to get. Then one day, something amazing happened. It finally happened. He ate out of my hand. I was like screaming inside, but I was so afraid to scare him. It was just so beautiful. And I just was thinking, Frankie, I am so proud of you. As soon as he ate out of my hand, I knew I was in. I am in the Frankie fan club. I've made it in the circle of Frankie trust. I could see it, but better yet, I could feel it. He was finally starting to love me almost as much as I loved him. I knew I couldn't be his only friend, so I really tried to rescue him another llama, but I couldn't find any llamas available for adoption. So I found out that donkeys would make just as good as friends as llamas. Two weeks later, I rescued two donkeys. Everything went as planned. Within a few weeks, Frankie and the donkeys were best buds. And now look at us. <laughs> 